Hi, I'm Amy White and this is my 2000 Glass Star. He was built in Durango, Colorado by Richard Stewart and I bought him back in June. Uh, never been happier with an airplane. I used to own a 150 and I sold it because I was really looking for an airplane that could do four things and this airplane checked all of those boxes for me. Uh, I, was, I was looking for a tailwheel and I was looking for something that could do backcountry and go camping and then I also wanted to go faster and then also I couldn't break the bank either so it had to be budget friendly. So I searched Barnstormers for months uh, looking at different airplanes and finally found the Glass Star. Funnily enough when I first got Woodstock he was not a tail dragger. He had a tricycle gear and uh, you know diamond in the rough and all that didn't let it deter me because the beauty of the Glass Star design is that you can convert back and forth from tricycle gear to tail dragger and within a couple days with plenty of help and uh, some expert mechanics on it we were able to do the initial swap and I absolutely love it. It's been the favorite thing that I've done to the airplane. It's really smooth and just the tamest tail dragger I've ever flown so loving it. Uh, being a tail dragger, it had some of that bush camping capability I was looking for in an airplane. Uh, so with the tail dragger, obviously, a little more prop clearance, a little more um, opportunity for bigger tires and rougher airstrips that it can handle. Um, as far as camping goes, it also has a huge compartment in the back. I can haul 250 pounds in my camping gear. And lastly, to me, what really stands out is how slow it can fly. So short field landings in this thing are a breeze. And even a noob like me, I can stop it at 500 feet. So another thing I was looking for in the plane is, you know, it had to be safe, right? Like no one ever buys a car and plans to wreck it, but you know, it's a plus if it's got a good crash rating, right? Well, the Glass Star has a steel tube uh, cage that's reinforcing a fiberglass shell and so I feel very safe, I feel very protected in it. And then adding on to how slow it can fly, if I ever had to put this thing down somewhere, I feel confident that I could walk away. So the Glass Star is made of a bunch of different materials. Uh, the biggest part of the yellow you see here is actually fiberglass composite material. Um, keeps it very lightweight, very strong. All the flying surfaces, such as the wing and the tail and the elevator are all riveted aluminum. And on the inside, there's a steel tube cage, which I'll show you. We'll get around here and open the door. It's got a great, great big elevator on it um, and rudder, so very, very light control touch to get where you need to be. Another feature that really drew me to the Glass Star is how big the cabin is. So the Glass Star offers 46 inches of cabin width which is plenty for me and my six foot four um, adopted dad to go fly around and not even bump shoulders uh, so it's been perfect for that um, here's that steel tube cage I was talking about it's kind of a, a roll cage looking design Woodstock right now has a 150 horse power engine 0320 I'm running a standard pitched prop on it um, for crews, I get about 118 pretty religiously with the big tires, of course. I'm sure it would go down if I had, or go up if I had uh, had smaller tires. Um, for, for takeoff, if on a normal loading situation, I'm, we're off the ground at 500 feet. It's got 45.1 usable gallons of fuel. So myself and my boyfriend can load up in this thing with enough fuel to fly 560 miles with an hour's reserve with 135 pounds of our stuff in the back and still be that gross. I don't see us ever needing to do that, but that's just kind of uh, the kind of capability that I got out of the last year. Take a look inside my currently currently full baggage compartment. Um, I've got lots of stuffed stuff stored back here. All my bags and survival gear and flyaway kit. I put folding bikes back here. I put, when I swapped the landing gear, I had the entire landing gear with the wheel attached, both of them, <laughs> in the back. So it'll haul. So now you know a little more about Woodstock. Let's go flying. 
just as well at slow speeds as it does at high speed. It's just super light and happy on the controls. Twin Oaks traffic, last hour, not a Romeo X-ray, left down in runway two, Twin Oaks. I was coming in quite fast for a while when I first got this. Um, this thing will fly before my airspeed registers. Maybe it's just particular glass star, but uh, I've learned to come in a lot slower and having a lot more success at short field. Another great thing about the glass star, even when you kind of screw up a landing, it still doesn't look too bad. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the glass star and Woodstock. And uh, I'll be doing some writing for Kit Plane, so be sure to look for me in the magazines.